Uh, my name is John. I'm in the marketing team at ChargePoint. I focus on a couple different things. Uh, one is our fast chargers, and the other thing is fleets. So today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about things you need to consider when you're moving to a fleet. Now, if you look out on the road today, you'll see electric vehicles all over the place. But what you probably don't see is electric fleet vehicles. Why? Because they look like normal vehicles. They're not, they're trying to focus more on functionality and reliability and not how they look. Now, at ChargePoint, we've been in the EV charging business for over 10 years. And we really do believe that the future is electric. What I find interesting is that people are catching up to us. They are seeing the benefits of moving to an electric fleet. And this study shows that, you know, in, in the not too distant future, a lot, of, a lot of fleet managers are going to be investing in electric fleets. Think about it, 10 years ago, we didn't have iPhones. In 10 years from now, almost every fleet vehicle is likely to be electric. So why would a fleet manager think about electric vehicles? Well, there's a lot of benefits and you can see them up here. But the main thing is, when it comes to an electric vehicle, it's about the total cost of ownership. And with an electric vehicle, even if a fleet was able to realize just a 2% reduction in operational costs, it would be a huge impact to their bottom line. I took a look at the FedEx uh, financial statement for last year. And in fuel and maintenance costs, their operating, it was about 8.5% of their overall operating costs. If they could reduce that half a percent with a company that operates 180,000 vehicles, it's going to be a huge amount of money. So what do you need to look at? Well, you need to look at the ecosystem. It's not simply about just changing out a vehicle. You're going to have to look at how you're going to fuel the vehicles. You're going to look at what vehicles are available and are they going to be able to suit the, uh, the mission that the fleet needs to do. And then you got to look at how you bring it together. And that's where we at ChargePoint are going to be able to help. Uh, we have the hardware, we have the software, we also have expertise in doing this with a number of different customers. So let's dig a little deeper. What else, do, what do you really need to know? Well, let's start with the infrastructure, okay? So you need to look holistically at what you have, where your vehicles are stored. Do you, when you move to an electric vehicle, you're gonna to need to look at, do I have the power that's gonna be necessary to charge those vehicles? Do I have the space for the chargers? And you know, it's, it's really taking a, a complete evaluation. Even if you're looking at just doing a pilot, you want to look at, am I going to be able to do this at large scale? The next thing is get everybody involved. As I said, it's not going to be just a vehicle swap out. You're going to have to look at how you handle operations, how you do fueling, how you do parking. And so it's going to affect every aspect of a fleet operation. So you want to get those stakeholders bought in up front so that they know what, you, what's, what they're getting into. Then it's about vehicles and infrastructure. This is where you want to bring every, uh, you want to make sure that what you're implementing is the best use of space and the vehicles. For example, we work uh, with the County of Alameda. They have a fleet of electric leafs. They're on the road during the day between nine to five, which means their chargers are not being used. So what they've decided to do is make their chargers which happen to be uh, CT4Ks, make them available to the public and charge a nominal fee for charging. What that allows them to do is generate a little bit of revenue from that uh, infrastructure. And then when the vehicles come back at night, they become dedicated to charging their fleet. Next thing you wanna look at is what happens after the pilot. You wanna look at long-term planning. Um, it's very expensive to dig up the ground, to lay the conduit that you need for uh, EV charging. What you don't wanna do is dig up the ground, put chargers in, and then realize you need more chargers and you need more infrastructure and have to dig that same ground up again. If we look at what we're doing with the Valley Transit Association uh, a tran in Silicon Valley, they took this approach. While they have fast chargers installed, 
to charge their EV bus pilot, they went ahead and set up the infrastructure for more chargers and more powerful charging. And so when they're ready, when they bring more buses in, it won't be a complete redo of their installation. Keeps, I keep saying this concept of bring it together. And what I mean by that is it's not just the hardware it's, and the software behind it. You need to be able to connect to all the systems that fleets use. And so you want to bring that intelligence to do things like making sure buses that or vehicles that need to go out immediately will have the right amount of charge and buses that go later can charge a little bit later. So this in optimization, this intelligence requires not only expertise, it requires uh, solutions that we do have a charge point and that's where our energy solutions scheme come in, comes in. So what you've seen from this presentation is that moving to electric fleet does require commitment not only from uh, the fleet manager, but everybody that's involved with the fleet. If you want to find out more information about what we're doing with fleets, go to our website where we have a lot of information. Uh, we do have people from our fleet team here. They'll be able to answer your questions. And of course, come find me. I'm around as well. Thank you. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.